I'ma go around the town Up in my way, up in my shit Niggas be making the sound Niggas don't wish where I'm from Round till we making it out, ayy Round till we making it out, ayy Look, go around the town Up in my way Right to that camera. <laughs> I will get you when I say it, dog. Because I, I feel more, I feel more comfortable. The people, looking, bro. The I feel people. more comfortable looking at Isaac, dog. Uh, <laughs> just because I think of last Saturday, and it makes me feel better. Hey, <laughs> man. Nah, what's up, everybody? It's Fake with the Juice Podcast. I'm here with it's your boy Juma, Isaac, and Dal P. My bad. What's up, my bad. <laughs> no, you're Dal P. Was cracking. <laughs> Yeah, my bad, my bad. We're yeah. new roles today. We're new roles. Yeah, uh, that's so we got Jose. It'd be a little different when it's just yeah. us three. Yeah. Yeah. Shout out to Jose. Yeah. Take a little vacation. Yeah, real shit. Well needed. That's what's we be up. out of wax. But thank you for pulling up, family. Oh, of course, no, thank you for having me, man. It's, yeah, been, it's been a while, but I mean, it's, it's, it's a long time come, you know? I feel you. I feel right, you, bro. Yeah, bro. You performed with Sage One at the show, right? Mm hmm. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. That was pretty lit. You know, I saw you guys. I saw you did your thing. You know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? That was cool. I was like, all right, all right. We got all this all sides, uh, all types of uh, talent. You know what I'm saying? I feel right. you. It was, it was cool. I feel it. So, what song did you guys perform? Oh man, that was an unreleased track. It's on my tape, actually. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's called uh, "You Want It," and then I, I got it. You know, and it's it's a different approach to music because again, right now, as y'all see, that whole like trap and that whole—I mean, I love it as long as it's good. You know what I'm saying? Right, but right, right. It just got too generic. It's just like everything sounds the same. You know, it just sounds like one long song when you would be at shows. You know? Yeah. So this one it kind of like slowed everything down. It was more of like. Uh, the best I could describe it, and I don't like to like you know compare, but it's just like it reminded me of that old Tyler, the creator, you know that like when he was making that bonkers type music, like that mm. that type of stuff. I'm not like a big Tyler fan, but when I heard that, I'm like, yo, those songs slap. You know, they changed the game for yeah. everybody. Everybody got hella creative after that. Mm. Yeah, facts. So yeah, I mean that was that one though. But man, that was a good, that was a pretty good track. Even the little wire came out the mic. Yeah, somehow bro. I caught that wire though, just went right back in. Everybody yeah. was like, all right, <laughs> they caught that. that was yeah, that was cool. <laughs> Damn. So even with that bro let me mm -hmm. just expand on like you know like on the performing side mm -hmm. is that something you like to do often or like how'd you even get into the mix to where you know what not like a, not only we're gonna drop this song but i'm gonna preview it before it's even out even yeah honestly it was uh sage was kind of like hey bro let me let like he really asked me he's like this is a banger dog and it's i'm closing this show could we perform it and i was mm -hmm. like you know what man let, let's do it you know what i'm saying let, let, let's let's show him and like, also because yeah, I mean, I kind of wanted to see what people are gonna react to it. You know, maybe it's maybe it's a flop. You know, I mean, like mm. God knows it's not. But. Did you have that in the back of your head? Uh, honestly, no. But for, oh, okay, other, okay. for other songs that I perform, like I perform other tracks at my shows that I, I do do that for. You mm -hmm. know, where I'm like, okay, let's try this one out, and then I'll like also organize my bless you. <laughs> I'll organize my uh, track list like that. So I'm like, okay. oh, this one slapped, this one didn't. And I'll remove it, and I'll add this one. I'll take this because I gotta change my track list at least every season, at least or every few mm. every few months. You know, you know, change my stuff. I don't want to perform the same things all the time. Okay, so then, like, with that being said, that means you're put like a, you're like kind of like uh, performing often. Yeah. To even change your track list and stuff. Is that yeah. based off the city you're in? Is that based off the crowd you're about to do? Honestly, is that based off the way the you know like the kind of the like the promoter yes. presents the show and shit? You know, I, I like, would say I would say it's the promoting uh, because I'm constantly doing like the clothing, right? Okay. So I'm doing the clothing and I'm constantly doing. Uh, other little events, like uh, just things that I want other people to, I guess, I want to bring people to the city. You know what I'm saying? I want to bring this scene to the city. So I'll go to like Santa Ana, I'll go to LA, I'll go to, you know, Long Beach or like I got a show in San Pedro tomorrow. You mm. know, I'm going all the way out there. Like that's, that's crazy, you know, but it's just to get people to, you know, just kind of know like, hey, we, we out here too. You know, Santa Ana, everybody knows they got hip hop, but Costa Mesa, no one really knows it's for that. Right. But there's talent in there, bro. It's just not, they don't know how to get out. They don't got support. So mm. I kind of just, you know, I bring my brand music. I didn't bring it again today, but I bring it the other day. I, everywhere I go, 700 Block Records, I have that thing always on me, you know, and it's just like, what is that? And then, you know, it just brings people to over here and also just to promote my stuff, you know? Okay. Yeah. Mm. So it helps my, my clothing brand. <laughs> and just go, uh, just to go back to the performing. Mm -hmm. Was that only for a feature? Or is that like you tend to be doing your own shows often? Uh, well, no, I do my own shows all the time. Okay, yeah, that one was he just asked me, and I was like, let's do it, bro, because you know we've been working a lot. So okay, it's, it's, it was cool. Yeah, and that's you just kind of tapping into people just to like want to work as of recently, or is that because 
of what he had going on because yeah honestly because for this project you know like uh basically for the project i want to work with more people i want to get the right features in there because my last projects i kind of just did it by myself maybe just had like one feature and it's been a while since i released like a, a project you mm -hmm. know uh, the last one I did, it was only a little three-track EP. Yeah, the um, uh, ancient one, right? The ancient one, yeah. That yeah, one was yeah. cool. So that one was more of just like, you know, let's give them something and kind of where I'm at. And it was it was that like, you know, that mid, it was like that step, I want to call it like stepstone music kind of, you know, it's just like, it's it's on its way there, but it's just like, this is what I'm doing right now, you know, it's just to let you guys know. Damn. So yeah, the tracks is pretty cool. It's very, uh, I mean, it's like, one's like a party track, one's a business track, the other one's just like a life, like a reality mm. check at all of them. So it's just kind of... Simple three track, you know. Okay, and yeah. and then just going back to your set list, mm -hmm. do you always perform songs that you have recently, or do you like performing some of your old stuff? Because uh, I know I went into your catalog, bro. You yeah. have like a bunch of stuff. Yeah, <laughs> but like, is it stuff to like you speaking on the ancient one? Mm -hmm. Say you had a show tomorrow, mm -hmm. are you performing all three of those and new stuff, or do you incorporate everything? No, I incorporate a little bit of everything. So uh, try, try to be closer to the mic. Oh yeah, right. I'll incorporate a little bit of everything. Like I'll get um like right there, I have this trapping in the summer track. So that one, like right now, summertime, I'll oh, bring nice. that. Yeah, I'll bring that one out. You know. Um, and then when I do like more, it's way more vibey. Yeah, yeah. has yep. the chords feel all that. Yeah, yeah exactly. Sure. And then when yeah. I do more like you know, like you know, GCS shows, well then I'll go and get like you know that backpack. GCS, what, what you mean? Uh the graffiti store. You know what I'm saying? The okay. one in Santa Ana. The, okay. You know how people do shows out there in Santa Ana. I mean, yeah, GCS. So when I gotta do nah, like, uh, to me, I'm. Oh no, yeah, I didn't. No, we no, didn't. No. That's why I look. Oh, that's why we kind of looked at you oh, like. Okay, no, yeah. I didn't. Well, I didn't know they were on. still doing that. Yeah. Oh I, yeah. I used, well, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Well, yeah. shout out to I, you know GCS, yeah, I know man. You I, I yeah, that man. <laughs> they they be you know they be supporting the hip hop movement. You know they be shouting out a lot of people and like they be letting us you know perform there and stuff. Like GCS, I was still getting Girl Scout cookies. Nah. And I was like GCS. Yeah, I was like that's not it. That's Giants casting shadows. You know what I'm saying? Okay, Giants. Casting shadows. Yeah, That's hard, yeah those guys are dope, man. They have their it's a graffiti shop. They sell all sorts of stuff. And again, man, if you have like art like this, they have all sorts of art you could buy. And uh, oh, they're, they're pretty cool, man. Yeah. So, but for stuff like that, or when I do like little like you know underground events, and I'll do more like boom bap, you know, stuff like that. Mm. Like, but when it's like more like clubs and stuff, more like uh, you know lounges and more you know party vibes, then I gotta switch it up to that reggaeton. I get that you know reggaeton trap in there, and then I get that. Uh, mm. Like you were saying, you know, like more vibey stuff, more summertime, summertime music, you know? So, oh, yeah, man. That, yeah, got to keep it moving. <laughs> so, how do you go about making a reggae trap? Like, like a trap, man. Yeah, I mean, it's kind of like Boombaton, you could kind of say, but it's it's just, I I just kind of started. You said reggae trap and yeah. Boombaton. Well, yeah, because. <laughs> I, like, I ain't never heard that. That's <laughs> yeah, yeah, bro. Well, you Mubaton, might got to market that. What? Yeah. Trademark. What? Mubaton's been around. Now, Mubaton's okay, been around. Okay. Reggae trap, I just kind of. Who would qualify out. like as Boombaton? Boombaton is more like without words. It's just more like instrumentals, but it's like trappy reggaeton, right. like just for the mm. clubs. You know, it's dope, but not that many lyrics around there. Oh, Unless okay, it's like okay. little hooks and build ups. But reggae trap, that's why it's. And like I rap in the beginning more to like a trap beat, but in Spanish, because not a lot of Spanish trap trap, you know, it's just like little hooks here or like just very like bassy music, but uh not like go like go get it music, you know what I'm saying? Like okay, hustler okay. music, right, which right, I like right. to make, like young Dolph type shit. I love right. that type of shit, you know? Um, so yeah, that that's kind of what that is. And then I transition into like uh that reggaeton right after that. It builds up, it has that club mm. hyphy, like you know, uh this is an unreleased track, so I mean I'm kinda explaining a song that you guys don't know yet, but <laughs> Right. Uh, yeah, I was like, well, yeah, so I mean, like, like, like what are you talking about? Made, yeah, like, yeah, it's cause I do. Yeah, it's a good song. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. It's, yeah. It's, it's called, explaining it's, it too well. Yeah, it's called <laughs> Sueltalo, but it, it's dope, man. That's the one gonna be released. It's like uh it's just a whole new thing, you know. That one's gonna be on the album as well? Uh I think so. I mean it was with my homie Snow Leopard, the shout out to Snow Leopard, you know, he's a dope producer out there, Costa mesa as well you know okay. what i'm saying fire just and we grew up together too that's a cool thing but yeah we made this beat like you know due to our influences and in, like the edm music i mean we had that little you know who didn't like like the yeah. old like that punk shit you know who didn't like that punk you just said up. that like it was edm whoa yeah so it's the edm when was you driving EDM? Well, no, like, I wasn't driving EDM. I was just inspired okay. by, by like, you know, those, like, boom, boom, boom. And then, like, I'm okay. like, I'm Mexican, bro. We love to dance. And, like, come on, you got that. Boom, uh, yeah, boom. Okay. It's like, okay. that reggaeton okay. kind of blends in. And then just, bro, we rap. So we just, you know, luckily, I can, I'm bilingual. I can speak both languages pretty mm. well. Yeah. So I'm like, all right, let's get it. Because I'm, I'm not, like... Okay, you know, I got some shit to say. I guess sometimes no, I can fire. pronounce it. <laughs> I just remember on the, uh, I think it was like the fourth song on your pack talk tape. Yeah, okay. You started doing a mixture of like Spanish, English. Yep. I don't know what song it is, but like uh, specifically. I'm sorry, yeah. right, man. Uh huh. No, I feel that. You know my chilling shit, uh -huh. but that was just I didn't yeah. know you would incorporate that to. 
Yeah. Like the regular trap shit. Yeah, man. Yeah, we we had to just because again, it's just at the same time we're creators, bro. Like, let's if it hits, cool. If not, hey, man, we still create some other shit. Someone's gonna like it. But when you guys hear this song, you guys are gonna fuck with it. It's 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 dope, man. It got so much build up. Again, it got that bass. It got everything you need. And we also kind of wanted that like where the DJ don't really gotta do much. You know, he's just kind of like, all right, the song has it's it's trap. Then it has like a build up that kind of reminds you like some like EDM shit. And then he has that reggaeton at the end, like Spanish flow twist. So it's just three different types of beats, you know, in one. So you don't even got to, all you got to do is press play, you know, and let it play. Mm -hmm. So, mm -hmm. yeah, it's a pretty good What's track. That, yeah, man. It's <laughs> a lot of cool shit going on. Most deaf. Maybe we could dive into like the beginning of your catalog, bro. Because mm -hmm. I've done the 700 block, the 700 block two. Yeah. yeah so which the one? pack top. Yep. Yep. Go ahead, Frankie. No, no, I want to ask which one. Which one came first? Was it the clothing brand or the seven hundred block album? Uh out the the album came first, but the the clothing brand's always been in a, it's always been like right behind it. You mm -hmm. know, so it was just like let's get let's get this out first and then let's get the clothing out. But um yeah, it was I mean, it all kinda just comes hand in hand, you know. Then before you know it, you're I mean, just doing other stuff. Like, you know, you first you're rapping, then you're making clothes, and then you're doing videos, then you're like over here doing promoting shows now. It's like when did I become a promoter? Like, you yeah. know what I mean? So, but yeah, the first, the first album, I mean, yeah, it was, you know, first came with that several hundred block one, uh, shout out to Joseph jams, you know, Charlie prayers now. Um, but yeah, he's been in the game for years, AKA hands one, you know, um, he's been there for so long and yeah, he produced all those three tapes and, you know, he also pushed me a lot. So he was there from the get go since, since DOH when it was like, that was when I was, uh, I went by a and a awake and aware. I was like, what? 19 years old 18 you know <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. so no 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 yeah man uh those were those were the days man but you know that was when we were dukes of hip-hop and it was me, me and my partner but that fool i mean you know shout out rest in peace to the homie he passed away uh in may this year RP, uh, bro. yeah man rest in Sorry. peace to him man and i got to shout him out at the I, at the krs show you know uh it was dope, man. It was that. Yeah. What was that? You just threw uh, that in there. Yeah, right? yeah. The, the last one he had at the at the Garden M. Okay. Yeah, when he uh, he was there. That's with... what I'm saying, bro. You out here at these performances, bro. Yeah, man. That's that one was fire, cool. Bro. That That's one was fire. dope. I got to bring out my kids at that show. Everybody, it was dope, man. We got to do that moment of silence, and you just everybody respected it. You know, it was clean after that. You know, I, I had to like practice not tearing up because at my pad, right? Every time mm -hmm. I did, I cried. It was just so crazy. But then when it was there, I was like. Damn. all righty we got through it let's go and then it was dope man you know and it, it worked out well but from there to here man we're like shit our first show was for currency bro and i was like and we were i was like a little timid little freaking 20 year old like on the mic like what am i doing you know shout out to ab for that one he got us on on, on his set but uh yeah that's where it all started man that's the doh stuff that's what that was the first show officially like okay with currency and now we're here you know yeah <laughs> Yeah, it's and crazy. then during that stage, when you say mm -hmm. from that first show mm -hmm. to how much music you dropped in between to doing like shows this summer, mm -hmm. what's the best part about it? And just even all the trials and tribulations you face, bro. The people I've met, mm. you know, the people I've come across, like you guys. You know what I'm saying? I met you guys. I mean, I met you a while back. You know, and I see. I, I think I've seen you around for sure. I've seen you around yeah. too. So, but like today, you know, I, I just met you through Ariel. Just yeah, and that was you doing another show in Orange County. Yeah, exactly. Another OC <laughs> natives. You know, I would have never. <laughs> yep. You know, like if you were never active as an artist. Yeah. It would have never been a networking opportunity. Exactly, man. Ariel's cool too. You know, shout out to her. She's always you know helping us out too. But yeah, man. You know, that's that's probably my favorite part of it, <clears> coming across. People connections. I always feel like connections are way more valuable than the money, you know. So it's Word. like you go a lot further than that. <laughs> okay. Yeah, that's how we booked that spot last night, bro. We got it for basically for free, dog. You know what I'm saying? But I mean, not really because we got to get them talent. You know what I'm saying? Definitely it's not free. It's an it's an even exchange. You know what I mean? Almost an investment because you got to get a good turnout. Yeah, it's a lot of good response. Right now. It's and, up to yeah, us. You know, yeah. it's in our hands. Like fuck it up, yeah, make it. You, you know? have to give you a platform, but you can only do so much with it type mm -hmm, of thing. Mm -hmm. I hear that. I hear that. Yeah, man. So we're excited for that. So, you know, slowly, slowly, but surely. <laughs> we're sure. here now, bro. It's crazy. <laughs> hella, hella. Yeah, man. Is it cool if I take it back to the beginning? Talk yeah. about just even mm -hmm. how you got into music, how yeah. you wanted to start even being a part of this culture, like even mm -hmm. you choosing the style of rap you want to do. Because a lot <laughs> of the stuff we listen to is it's hustle rap. It's more yeah. like motivational. You yeah. want to speak towards everything about your experiences about Mm -hmm. From where you were to where you are now, mm -hmm. that's a lot of the rap you do. Yeah, yep. So can we talk about just yeah. 
how you got into rap, but just even how you wanted to even frame yourself and market yourself, everything, bro. Yeah, man. Um, and be, be closer to the mic, bro. Yeah, Thank yeah, you. gotcha. Um, no, definitely. That thing started yeah, since I was like a kid, kid. You know, I, I was like, since I saw Little Bow Wow, <laughs> since I saw that fool up there, you're like, I was like five years old, you know, but you see a little kid rap, you're like, oh, I could do it then, you know, like, what, what the fuck was the difference, you know? So, just started doing that, and then um, yeah, bro. Then I heard Pac, and like pretty much that that that's what changed my life. That really got me in as a kid into the hip hop. What age? That was when I was like literally like five, six years old. You know oh, what word. I mean? So uh, it's funny because I went to my homie's pad to share my new CD because we were like, oh, look, I got the little Bow Wow CD, bro. And he's like, I'll bring it to my crib, bro. But this will try to come up on. It. He was a little older than me, you know. He was already like, oh, he's like, I'm gonna come up on it. Yeah, this was like, hey, I'm gonna That's put. This. He's like, he's like, I'm gonna put it on the on the on the stereo, right? Yo, he's, yo, yo go buy your own, no, bro. bro this you is older, hood, bro. Just, <laughs> hey, eight year old trying to jack up five year old. What the damn, fuck, man? Yeah, no, this is the hood, man. So this fucking Shit, ain't no way he got that. I'm no, a... yeah, that's it. it. Was ten bucks at the time, like fifteen bucks. Like, little kid, that's a dollar's a lot. Ten bucks, like, dude, you could have bought a lot of chips with that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, like, yeah. Okay, I hear but, you, yeah, bro. So, so I ended up uh, buying that CD, <laughs> take it to his crib, and it was at the on the five cd player you know when, when you put five in the there you get, to, yeah. you get to choose so he's like oh miranda got stuck in there bro like you know i was like what you mean it got stuck in there he's like yeah man we can't get it out and i was like what you mean and but right before that though <laughs> yeah right, right before that though he he's trying he, to get that out yeah like, yeah right before that though he was playing a tupac cd he was playing tupac he's like oh let me show you who yeah. tupac is because my brother was playing and i was like oh, okay so we were hearing her right, california love it was the greatest mm. hits volume two that was the exact mm. tape. I know because I jacked that one. <laughs> so, so, so because he full like, circle, full circle, yeah. bro. He, he was playing that. I was like, oh, I heard troublesome. I to live and die in LA. I was like, oh man, this is hard. Damn. So then, like, what a range. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So to I be left. hyped off the Bow Wow tape and then hear Tupac. Yeah, yeah. 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 it was a, it was yeah, a great experience. Came up that day, bro. Fan. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You know what? It's all right. I didn't even trip on it. Yeah, bro. I didn't even trip on it. I'm gonna go ahead. I, I literally, mind. I was like, hey, my mom already made the hey, food. She told me to go home, dog. <laughs> Pulled her right back, put that CD yeah, in there, and that's, it just, it was a wrap after that, bro, you know? Fire, yeah. Fire. Up to, yeah, I was like in high school, 17, 18, then we got into, that's when I met Dose, you know? Dose, and that's when we made DOH. Well, he's the one that was making beats on EMP, MPC at first. He taught me how to make beats, and I always wanted to make beats first. I was like, let's do the beats. I want to make beats, and... um. And I, I made like a, I made like one or two. I made a few. I, actually, I did one that was Snow Leopard that we recorded. Uh, we got DJ Kaboom on it to do the scratches. He was, he was mm. that was pretty dope. Um, but I remember after that though, it was just kind of yeah. He was like, Nah, bro, you should, you should just rap. <laughs> He's like, I already make beats. I'm good at it. Like I've been doing it a little longer. He's like, Trust me. Like you got good bars too. Because I just I was already writing at the time. He's like, Just just stick to that. And I'm glad he told me to stick to that. You know, because mm. then that got me where I'm at now. So, yeah, man. That. Shout out to those again, you know. <laughs> Come up, bro. Mm -hmm. Hella. Mm -hmm. So, what is 700 block? 700 block is the neighborhood. You know, it's, it's obviously it's Shalom, that's the name of it. But you know how every every neighborhood has a little number, like yeah. block number. So, 700 block, you know. Yeah. And the thing is, it's just to change the narrative of, you know, it's not just like, oh, man, these guys are just, you know, hood fools or gangster dudes or just drug addicts. Because it's, it's, had, it's had its phases, bro. The hood has been cool and then it's been like, you know, just shot out, and then it's got good again. You know what I mean? So, but there was never a business narrative. Like there was never like, oh man, let's create something. You know, mm -hmm. that's that can bring money into this, or or bring, better yet, get us the out way of here. Nipsey you know? rebranded his whole area. That's where I get my game from, bro. Nipsey, Dolph, bro, freaking Jay Z, all that. Like uh, I'm reading the Jay Z book right now. You know, Ooh, shout um, out to Marcy. I, I'm yeah, trying to, I'm trying to go to my <laughs> still to this day, bro. Still trying to visit Marcy. I'm still trying to go to they, Marcy, bro. Yeah, man. Just I'm, from the way he's talked about it, bro. Yeah, bro. I mean, hey, yo, reading his story, man, it's crazy. I I just got. I'm like barely on like page like 16 or no 23. Sorry. But man, that book, just the things he says, man, how he, you know, he just looks at everything like just like a business. And it's, you know, how he says, like, I'm not, I'm a, I'm not a businessman. I'm, I'm a, a business, business man. man. Like that Church. right there is like, I hear, all right. I hear so yeah, I just kind of go off that. So that's kind of where it is right now. You know, we're having our events and we get to give away clothes and due to all that, you know, it's just it, like 700 block now is a whole different thing. Back then they wouldn't have none of this stuff. Like mm. we did have it way back when. Other like you know city groups would come in and give give you know things to us instead like like little they set up like skate ramps you know or like little uh, like community service like people you know come mm -hmm. in and play with the kids just a little bit 
uh, community programs like Boys and Girls Clubs and stuff like that. But uh, then it stopped, you know, because it just got pretty dangerous at one point. Everybody was just, it was just got bad, bro. And now, like, luckily, you know, I'm older now and, like, I get to have some sort of influence there, you know. And due to that West West video that we filmed, we got to bring, you know, the law writers in. We got to give the kids free ice cream. We gave away some That's stuff. Cool. We got uh, the lynch mob came, you know, to Costa Mesa to the neighborhood. Like, Yeah, no, let's like, just talk about that as well, bro. Yeah. I know, you, I know you're just throwing it in there, but yeah. that was a video that... We saw doing part of our research, you know? Yeah, man. That, you know, you featuring the lynch mob, but... Yeah. How, <laughs> you know, how well is, you know, like, producing everything, bro? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So how was that linking up with them and just even mm. doing your thing with that, bro? Yeah, that one was, uh, shit, man. I, I kid you not, that's all God right there. I was, you know, for a long time after Dose, you know, and after, um, he was still, you know, doing his thing. We just kind of grew apart, you know? Everyone started doing their own thing, and... I just wanted a different type of sound, you know, and at the same time, I just wanted somebody like that could guide me to that next step. Like Joseph, you know, hands got me pretty far. Like they showed me how to think same. I bought the LLC. I bought, you know, my like my whole thing, you know, my whole rights and all that. I got it. I just didn't know what to do with it after that. I didn't study. I didn't know where to go. Like, so I just bought the label and I was there for like <clears throat> I didn't do anything for like three years, four years with it. You know, like literally I just Damn. I just bought it because so many people, other people wanted to buy 700 block records. Though. There was like two other rappers in my neighborhood that wanted to buy it. So I got it quick. It's like, you can't buy it now. I got all the rights. So fuck it. I did that. But Damn. then, um, yeah, so I just like got to the music. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you know, I had to buy it, bro. But after that, I met, I met, um, like again, after I did, I said no more shows. I don't want to do anything because I didn't want to do that pay to play shit. Like I was like, no more. I'm just going to focus on music, music, music. And one day I met this dude, you know, um, so sick. Shout out to so sick. Uh, I met him through like fucking weed pens and shit like that. You know, we used to fucking just trade off weed pens or buy vapes and shit like that. So this guy was a big vapor guy. He's like, hey, man, I didn't know you fucking you rapped. And I was like, yeah, man, I, I make music. Well, like Dazzy D, because he, he used to sell him vapes, like fucking all the mods. And you know, that was when the whole vaping shit mm. was popping, you know. So but Dazzy has some cool ass shit. He used to be smoking some weed out of them. That's pretty cool. But uh, yeah, so he he did the whole vape shit. And he's like, man, you should meet with fucking Dazzy. Like he's fucking he's an OG dude. He just been retired, you know. And I'm like, well, let's go. I mean, again, like I I know Lynch Mob, but I was born '94. Like I wasn't like all oh, crazy. Like I know every track. Like I, you know what I'm saying. Like, but I knew okay, I know who they are and whatnot. So I went. I met up with Daz and then showed him uh showed him 700 showed him my music 700 block uh two at this time. And I told him, bro, I already so got... We ain't even talked about that tape yet. Dude. Yeah, no, yeah. <laughs> I showed him all that, and he was like, man, like, okay, you got it going on. You got the... You got everything, so, you know, let's just start doing this. And he connected me with people in L.A., and then mm. slowly but surely started doing that. And then, you know, um, we just kind of kept it going for, like, two, three years. And then we kind of... I also kind of, you know, went through life and just kind of separated a little bit, went through my own things, and then, you know, just all sorts of BS that comes, you know, had some accidents and all that. But then... Came back, and uh, that's when I met up with uh, the ancient one again, you know, and he just sent me this track. And mind you, he's in Colorado, off-grid, literally living off-grid, making beats, and he just sends me this beat pack, and that song was in it, man. And What the and hell? And I was like, yo, man, I need a, you know, I've been he's wanting He's off-grid. How you have contact with him? Well, because he used to live out here, but he moved out. He's, he's still okay. got Wi-Fi. He's still got some internet, you know? So, so he's he, not off-grid. He's not like, he lives <laughs> completely, <laughs> like, in the middle of no, fucking I get you, nowhere. I get you, I get you, it's I get crazy. You. I was like, damn, bro. You're like three miles from <laughs> the next neighborhood. Oh, no, no, yeah, bro. He lives far, bro. But, um, Salute yeah. to him, bro. Still yeah, man. He be made on that license. Yeah. Yeah, he made that shit. Still about his craft. I fuck yeah, with that. Fuck yeah, yeah. I mean, so he, we crazy. got that shit in there. And then um, I remember at this point, Daz was like, man, if you want, I could get you in with like, you know, maybe at least some DJ Quick, some Corrupt. You know, I could probably help, help you out with like a feature like that. But then when I showed him that beat, he was like, man, you know what? This is one of those I'm going to get out of retirement for. Like, and I was like, mm. for real? Or he's like, yep. He's like, and I kid you not. Man, his work ethic is insane. Like, this guy's an OG. This guy's toured the world with Ice Cube already. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. This guy's have been everywhere. This guy... Fucking, I was like, all right, you want to be all right, man. Well, man, like, I'm honored. Like, handle you fucking an hour later. He's already like, not even like 30 minutes, bro. He's like, hey, I actually sent you the verse. I heard you. You know, he, talk, he talks all dude. I sent you the verse. Homie, I'm like, all right, hear that and shit. Your eyes, he, you're kind of like, I, I'm like, what the? I fuck? can't even be lacking from how no, serious he's bro, treating it. Not only that, and like, I'm like, how polished he is. You yeah, know? and I'm like, yo, this is actual like West Coast legend here. And I'm like, so I can't just treat this record like anything. So, yeah. you know, and not only that, but this is, I felt like, oh, man, this is going to get like, 
I just had a really good feeling about it, you know? Mm. And I'm like, I know this is, people are going to hear me on this and they're going to look it up because his dad's coming out of retirement. So it's like, That's people are going to hear guy. this. Yeah. And then he like corrupt heard this, you know, or like, uh, what's his name? Like, um, uh, MCA heard this, you know, all the rest of the lynch mob heard, heard this track. So, you know, I'm like, yo, that's cool, man. Y'all got it in the ears I wanted to get to, you know what I'm saying? And like, luckily after that, we just kept building and building and building. And then, you know, the rest of the lynch mob kind of just started, you know, they saw that too. And like, they, you know, they came through for like a track or two and then, you know, they helped me out. Shout out to them. You know, they were, they were really cool with the kids when they came to the neighborhood. They were really nice. And, you know, we like bringing that black and brown unity, bro. So Damn. it was dope, man, that everybody, you know, it's like. You know, there's like you ever think that, that my bad to even yeah. interject, bro, because no, yeah. this whole experience sounds crazy. Yeah, did you ever think that was even possible with music, mm. bro? Honestly, after the whole nip thing, uh, sadly it's happened like that. But then I saw that it, that could happen. You know mm. what I'm saying? That there's because I mean there was a lot of I'm Mexican. I love nip. You know what I'm saying? So when I saw that, I'm like, come on, bro. Like, who am I to not try to that over? I'm like inspired by this guy. Like mm. heavy. You know. I, dude, I was hurt when he passed away. Him and Dolph. I was so hurt. Facts, so bro. bad, man. Like, but to this day, bro. Straight up to this day, man. And I, I just Especially because there were just two people that were like, they just started getting the recognition, bro. Uh, yeah. Especially Dolph, bro. bro. That's Dolph. Yeah. Like, man. Like, you know, and Dolph, because, you know, he, he he's just like about that. You know, he got that hustle. Like, Literally man, just hustling, get bro. that money. And I like that. I go get it music. And I play that shit when I wake up. I'm like, let's go. But then, you know, you listen to that nip when you, after that, like, you know, you sit down, you roll up, you know, and you just like play, you know, some like that whole new mix, the whole, the last tape you did, the marathon, man, a victory lap. I like that one because it was like, that's that, that, that boss music, luxury music type, but with like heavy message, you could just hear like the, 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 the passion and the the journey, you know, and mm. then how he got, how he started, how he got there. He don't forget where he's from, you know. That's never right. shouts it out every time, you know. So I think that's what keeps a, a like that's what keeps me going too. That's what keeps a lot of hustler right. rappers going, you know. I can hear that in your music yourself, bro. Because yeah, if there's something you speak about, mm -hmm. you know, spoke about your mom coming through. Yeah, yeah, mom yeah. Being on the shoulders, I I, I hear the bars, bro. Oh, that's yeah, that you always cool. wanted to do. Yeah, but just even from like the pack talk where you talk mm -hmm. about. Yeah, <laughs> I know the. Yeah, you already. You know? So on and say so, you know. Yeah. But that's the type of music you want to appeal as. Mm -hmm. Somebody who comes from the gutter, like my story ain't fake, and I've grinded for all this. Yeah. Yep. So what made you even want to do that? I know you said your influences, like some of the ones we talked about, but mm -hmm. was it always kind of easy to just do that type of rap? Ah, uh, to be well, it's just because of you know being in the streets too, you know, hustling and doing all that, and you know, seeing some things, and it, it gave me that experience. So I was able to speak about things like that I actually lived, not just like, oh man, I'm just trying to sound like that. So that kind of, when you see those type of things, it's kind of pretty easy to put it in sentence, put it in words when you actually see it, you know. Mm. But as far as, but again, when listening to like Jay Z, you know, and and you know, uh, like Larry June too, you know what I mean. Um, how they like, how they be, how they be, you know, like using, that. how they be using like those, you know, their slang terms and stuff, their terms and like, I'm like, all right, that's good. You creative. You're not just saying like the typical slang words for certain things. You know, it's like you're actually made it like, all right, yeah, that Man. sounds pretty dope. That's a whole. And new to be thing. honest, bro, to me, what's crazy is that I know we've had a lot of rappers in between Larry June and Jay Z. Yeah, I don't think a lot of them fall into the category of real boss man talk like because yep. even like i could probably just name five off top maybe i'm just not as tapped in as i think no, i am no, yeah, yeah. but it'll be like benny benny yeah because even push it t he's still very strictly yep. drug talk it's yep. not really like yeah you know <laughs> so it was like benny nip jay-z mm -hmm. i'm glad you said larry june yeah yep, yep. even like reminiscences of uh i don't know bro like that's what currency I, like, too you know currency, currency as well but currency. he does still he still does like the weed. Yeah. yeah. You know, he, he does kind of like, strong, yeah. or just like, I don't mind if his music is just like a high song. Like he's talking about yeah. weed in the song, like yeah, yeah, kind of yeah. just kicking in his cars. Yeah. Yeah. He got some cool. You feel me? Like yeah, it's yeah. more laid back shit, you yeah, know, yeah, yeah. compared to like trying to put, put you on game, bro. Uh, like yeah, I hate yeah. to go back to your song, but yeah, yeah, yeah. Or not even hate, but it's just put like, you, on game. No, you know, yeah. like it'd be too cliche to say like, yo, cause he has that song, but put you on game music. Mm hmm. Literally didn't come from a lot of different artists in this game, you know? Yeah. Because at times it comes across like too cliche and boring. Because mm -hmm. mm -hmm. these guys are just trying to give us that old man rap. Like, yeah. that's how it, yep. like, it has a stigma behind it. Yep. Which is why I don't even blame, like, when Lil Wayne's not doing this shit, 
games not do, like some of our older guys yeah mm-hmm. you know because they're not doing it yeah uh, uh, they, i see what you you're get saying me? Uh, they're not doing it uh-huh j-rock so, will venture that's yeah. a deja vu right now you that's me? so trippy <laughs> no but it's like bro i'm telling you that's why i value jay but mm-hmm. i know why jay's valued in the game yeah. is because uh talk like that mm-hmm. like roman bars it's kind of not like a thing hustler yeah. music you know yeah because yeah. even jeezy mm-hmm. Although he did hustle music yep. and like TI shit, they would still try to make good sounding songs that sound like hits. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Compared to just giving game. Giving game music doesn't really sell or doesn't come across like who Miami is going to And they're still with, making you know? music for people in still yeah. in the streets. Like Lit- besides literally. people trying to get a legit biz- business. Yeah, yeah bro. Mm-hmm. Trying yeah. to just be like, honestly, I'm glad because Vince falls into that category of where like mm. he speaks from like, he talks as an adult, bro. I don't mm. know how else Vince to say Staples? it. Yeah, Vince yeah, Staples, yeah. you know? He just talks as an adult mm. rather than, like, speaking cliche about, like, what's going on in my life, like, you know, like, in my life and everything like that. Because yeah. that song's, like, you know, like, those songs still hit. Like, yeah. I don't want to say, like, none of that music doesn't sound good. But to talk grown man bars kind of it hits different when it's coming from a level yeah. of experience, you know? Yeah, I got kids, too. So <laughs> I exactly, got to make music for them to I was going to ask as well, mm-hmm. just because yeah. you be showing your son adamantly, bro. Yeah, yeah. All through kid. your page, yeah, you know? my boy, I was man. saying was, it, earlier, it was hard to find music, but I'm glad that it wasn't <laughs> hard to see that you're a great father. Oh, man, I oh, appreciate that. That's a good that. thing, gang. <laughs> appreciate that, I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm fucking happy for that, gang. Man, thank you for that. Yeah, no, man. Yeah, they they push me a lot, man. I love that they know every bar. You know, they like my biggest fans. Really, you know, they're around me all the time, and I'm glad that they picked up the mic too you know like they mm. again they perform with me at uh at the krs show they got mad love. it's cool man it, it was nice seeing them be the little stars you know because you know how when you get off stage everybody's like hey man this, you, this shit give me your props you know but this time it was them you know it was like oh hey and i was like damn that's what's up like you guys are getting your little game in there you know so it was dope you know they they did that one they helped me out at mother son my oldest helped me out at gcs and like yeah, you know, slowly but surely, like, they, I took them to the studio as well since they were kids, you know, just they've been mm. around this, like, you know, now I'm showing them how to print shirts, so they're they're always around the game, you know, Fire, they're man. always around me. So That's from mentality from early. Yeah, yeah, yep. Yeah. so I, I like that right now. Yeah, the little one, the smallest one, he's he's a little flipper, you know, <laughs> that little one's about it. He'll be trying to sell drugs all the time. <laughs> he's, he's about it, though. I hear you, bro. Yeah, man. That's cool, that's cool. <laughs> Out of all your catalog mm. from the 700 Block series... To the pack talk, to the classic one tape. Mm-hmm. What's your favorite style to do, and what do we have to come from you, bro? Dang. Ah, uh, shit. <laughs> um, honestly, I think my favorite style right now is uh, uh I guess that just I, I still I'm still gonna push that hustler like that, like you said, that grown like that giving game music. Mm-hmm. You know, I really because to me, just to even interject, I'm sorry yeah, all no, the time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because the pack talk has a lot of way more similes. Yeah, yeah. I yeah. hear you doing the ad libs now. Yeah. Compared to the 700 block series, it's more like oh yeah, just real talk. Like you don't mind just rapping through the whole track. Yep. Pack talk is more ad libs. You got mm-hmm. similes going on. Mm-hmm. And flow switches. Yeah, yeah, you know yeah. I, mean? I was experimenting heavy on and that one. Tra- like trap beats. Yeah, that's what I mean. Like yeah, it's it's like way more turn up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's why I say, like, what do you prefer to do? Because um, I know they're, like, yeah. hella different styles and I, shit. I like where I'm going right now. Right now, I'm incorporating a lot of funk, like, uh, like 80s soul, like 70s soul, 60s soul, and, like, funk. And, like, all, you're going to hear it in the new project. You're going to hear all of that. Oh, yeah, that's, that's different. Yeah, a lot of soul. I don't think any of the stuff I was listening to had that. Either. Yeah, no, no, no. That's why I'm so eager to drop, because that's, like, the old, you know. But, like, I mean, the new legend stuff that I've been – throwing out there like i said that new that song we just did real ones that one's more where i'm at right now that's so like you know nice west coast luxury music where you can like i mean it's called real ones and it's just about like what a real it's technically real bitch but you know real ones and you'll see what it is though it's not like after a while you're like oh man that real bitch don't sound so bad because it's kind of like when females could say the same thing they could say it too like oh that's a like a real bitch because you know fuck it that's a real bitch like I don't know. It's like your homie, I guess. I'm over here trying to make it sound cool, but <laughs> it's a go. It's a it's a good track, though. Honestly, um, sometimes you gotta explain the concept to people who. Yeah, you know, because like they think you're just trying to say something that yeah, like. No, I'm not trying I to bring women no down. I had no idea for the no. thing. Nah, bro. There's, like there is a meaning to it. You know. Yeah, it's, I hear it's that. Dope. Yeah, so I'm going towards there. You know, the bars because bars, bro, they're coming back. I don't know. If, I mean, they've been here, you know, but they're coming back, back. Like everybody, I'm, I'm just, I'm. I'm sure Joy Bad is gonna drop anytime. You know what I'm saying? Mm. Like I, I, I'm sure. Um, fuck. I mean, we're still waiting on a Kendrick. You know what I'm saying? But those bars, Nas, 
just dropped. You just know, Nas been exactly. fucking killing it, bro. And I, I went to the show recently too, the the Wu Tang and Nas and Busta. Bro, that shit was, it's been doing good, you know? And like, I, I mean, I did see that. I did share like a post, but it was about like how Lil Baby and these, and Lil Dirks, you know, they're canceling oh, yeah, yeah, tours. Yeah. Yeah. Like, what's up with that, you know? And then, but yet I see the Nas tour. I'm like, yo, this shit sold out. Like, you know, fuck it. I mean, it's not $300. I mean, I'm sure there was like more up front, but I mean, this is still solid. I'll take, you know, six to hundred, like, what is it? $2,060 tickets any day. You know what I'm saying? I'm pretty sure there's more than that, but yeah. Like, that's still pretty good as far as, man, I got to cancel shows and you're that big, you know? It's like, fuck, bro. You you were like Billboard number one art, number one Billboard artist, you know? So, yeah. It's, Classic it's albums hit better than what? Shit, yeah, bro. Yeah. Exactly. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. Yeah. I was talking to all this. Yeah, man. Classic yeah. albums hit better, bro. Yeah. Longevity, bro. Yeah. Oh, man. It's like you said, bro, like that stock life, like that shelf yeah. life matters, bro. Yeah, right. That really matters, bro. <laughs> that was one of your bars. <laughs> you literally said it, bro. Like, you like, it's shelf life matters. Yeah, bro. man. Shelf life? Oh, oh yeah. Oh, the last bar on that one? Yeah, yeah man. You got you to gotta get that because uh, things will lose that. And I got the just some vitamins, you know, because they lose their fucking, their potency. Uh, hey. So you got to stay healthy. You got to, hey, man, okay. take them shits now, bro, because then you're going to throw them away. You know, it's uh, not hey. good. Yeah, man. <laughs> man. What a guy, bro. Yeah, dude. I hear you, I hear you, I'm going to get this you. other water bottle real quick. Nah, do your right. thing, bro. Do your thing, bro. Yeah, yeah. I'm kind of glad I didn't bring the little Henny and shit because I'm pretty sure I got the little kids going to watch this. <laughs> I mean, bro, we, we, we like to stay, uh, stay tapped into the community. You know what I'm saying? I hear so, you. Yeah, bro. It's, it's dope, man. Crazy cool thing, shit. even with that, bro. Mm -hmm. You saying you're tapped into the community. Mm -hmm. I know you've done a, like a couple drives in Santa Ana, mm -hmm. bro. Like, uh, yeah, we trying well, to give away. We did I don't know Costa if it was like, like a like it was like a back to school. Yeah, yeah, uh, Costa Mesa. Yeah, we did. Costa uh, Mesa, yeah, right there in the neighborhood. Um, we did a back to school fresh. That's our annual event that we got coming up August twentieth. That's like the biggest one we have, bro. And you say annual? How long has it been going well, on? This is the second one. You second know, one. second okay. one, but it's Salutes, bigger, bro. Yeah, it's bigger now. We got the whole like support of the city now. Like we got the councilman support now. We're, like all our members, we got. Uh, like again, we got really tapped in. You know, we got to speak with like chief of police now and stuff and like you know really like let them know who we are and like you know have the little like the little homies also like speak their peace and like say what they feel and like also we we're remodeling the well the city is like because due to like you know the leaders in my neighborhood which is a, the homie Lam my partners the homie lambert and eric berserk um and myself you know we just and also the homie christian you now we took initiative and like doing these things because no one was doing them bro you know it's like like the late like the the donas the senoras you know they were doing their their job but like you know it's like they're they're being like the neighborhood moms you know it's like that's what's up they're showing love but it's like okay let's like let's let's also show our community some love too like let's get back to what we took from you know what i'm saying this community raises a lot so let's get back to it and you know we started with like the uh, the video, honestly, the West West video was kind of what like really, really gave it like, um, well, in my opinion, it gave it like more, a little bit more structure. It made it easy to structure because we kind of already had a natural event right there where it was all no police. Like that's kind of what we wanted to do where we don't have no policing. It's just natural, like, like peace, you know, like us through talking to ourselves like we could keep the peace. We don't because in my neighborhood, bro, policing was heavy gang unit, heavy gang gang. Uh, like, I mean, you know, no disrespect, but uh, it's true. Like, uh, the, the, you know, the police wasn't doing, like, nothing, like, bad. Like, they wouldn't harass, but gang unit, bro, that's a whole other thing. They would harass, come harassing the little homies. And it was it was unacceptable at one point. You know, it got to a point where I just, I mean, they just, they, they crossed the line. And then we took heavy and shit after that. And now it's like we got the, the, again, the city more involved. We got to speak to the police chief. And, you know, like, at least our representatives, the moms do too. They got to speak with, with them, with the police, and just kind of let them know, like, hey, like, you know what? Like, this is going on. And just kind of let them understand because time time flies and things change, you know? And, like, so it's just started with that. And, and you know what I'm saying? I don't want to get off subject, but, yeah, it just. No, you're due, good, bro. You know, due to that. And now we got we got to start this event where we give away, like, you know, uh, haircut. Shout out to Charlie, uh, Charlie Cutthroat that got his team. Uh, they came through at, like, five, uh, like, were like three barbers and three stylists so we gave away like they gave away plus like 200 plus free haircuts Damn. um they came uh, again the council members came through with the uh, 200 plus backpacks uh tk burger came through 150 plus meals uh we got Damn. like uh, we got hooked up skateboards we got the, the skate part uh the little skate ramps in the hood the homies came by uh from uh what's it called the homie worst came through i don't know if you guys know from rem crew did some live art bro Killed that. Um, yeah, and then shout out to all the performers. Like I had like Jeff pull up, uh, Ariel pull, Ariel pulled up, uh, DJ Kaboom. You know, was DJing the, the whole the band. Man, it was just a lot of people, bro. It was it was dope, man. My cousin Una was there. It was sick, man. We had a whole thing, uh, Jumper House. 
it was dope, man. It was it was sick. Everybody, dope. yeah, dude. It was, and we gave away also like I gave away what a hundred and like twenty shirts too that we printed out. Just gave them, we tossed, we just gave them out. And this year we made the 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 new shirt for this year's, and it's pretty dope, man. Shout out to Contreras, uh, twenty twenty vision. You know he's making Hello. the designs, bro. He, he When's the event for this year, bro? Uh, August twentieth. Please, yeah, August, August twentieth. Pull up, guys. I'll be pull there, up, bro. pull up, I'll guys. Be it's, there, bro. it's sick, man. We're gonna have a like this year. It's bigger again. We got more stuff, more don more donations now. We got uh again. People heard about it, and they were just like, "Yo, let me give away. Like, can I donate food, snacks? Sick, you know, man. it's nice, man. That's sick." Mm -hmm. <laughs> Yeah, it's, it's dope. On that give back, bro. Dope. Yeah, bro, it's dope, man. I'm excited, but yeah, man, we we try to do those often. We had the Christmas. I like how drive. you live your raps, bro. <laughs> you yeah, said we, we got trying to, to buy black the block. Bro. Yeah, man, you gotta buy back the block before they tear that shit down. You know, it's fucking get rid of it. No, nah, they can't do that. At least let's fight for it. Still, you know, it's still. And right now it's going well. Like we get to remodel the park, which is cool. We like that's the cool part. We got to speak with the actual. Um, like the people, what do you call it? Like the, the designers of the parks, you know what I'm saying? The people that can like build it, all that stuff. Forget their names, but um, basically we get to work with them and they're like, well, what do you guys think we should add? You know, obviously they, they give surveys to the community, but not many people come out and like none of the kids fill them out. You know, they're like too cool. It's summertime. The homies are over here. It's like, you know, so it's like, all right, we got to come. You know, like uh, people my age, the homies like my age, like, hey, all right, guys, like let's fucking fill these things out. And like, luckily, bro, we got like a we got a million dollar grant, a little over a million dollar grant to rebuild Damn. the park. Yeah, man. So we we we're adding a, a Pe yeah <laughs> taking action matters. Yeah, man. And and you it, it's never always known. been there. It's, we just had to go do it, you know. So we got a million dollars, and we were able Damn, to. Bro. We're we're adding like a little skate things. You know, we asked the kids what they wanted. Like no more wood chips in the park. They said. Like that, they're over that, so we're, we're putting turf right there. You know, um, we're putting a little like indoor, like a futsal court, like in the, not an indoor, but like kind of like indoor, like fence. <laughs> yeah, you know, this is so yeah, fire, bro. Man. But this is because you know, <laughs> like, yeah. Crazy. Shout out okay. to like Soy. I Soy used to have lie. that. You know, the, it was a program that Eddie, Kaboom used to work with, and one of our councilmen works in now. But uh, you know, it's not as active anymore because the kids grew up. No one plays soccer. Everyone was on the phones now. You know, so we're bringing that back in the community. Luckily, like where I'm from. You know, like not everybody got money like that. So they're still kids is luckily still playing in the outside. They're still going around kicking the ball, but they don't got nowhere to do. It. And these toys are old. You know, they're they're the kids, these kids are older now. So they want like, you know, handball courts now. They want a, a basketball court. So we, you know, we're able to design a little a hybrid uh basketball soccer court where it's like a soccer goal and then on top of it is the court. So you could like do both and still kick, you know. So yeah, we just, yeah, it's a lot of cool stuff, man. They got a lot of cool things going on. That's so wavy, bro. Yeah. So we're we're stoked for that, man. That's gonna happen soon too, probably like in a year or two. But it's on it's on its way. It takes a while. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you just got a lot going on. I'm yeah, that's I'm why I'm, like, you're I'm just glad involved you guys invited with, me. <laughs> nah, I'm just thinking you're involved with just the music, bro. That's just what mm -hmm. I would imagine from the surface level of like yeah. your page, someone who would tap into you, you know. Yeah, yeah. We just seen you at the show. I'm not gonna act <laughs> like I see you every day or what yeah, you got yeah, going yeah. on every time. I so for that. you to say all this, bro, it's kinda like I'm kind of oblivious to what's actually going on in and around me, bro. Yeah. Huh? This is not far from me, bro. This is yeah. like 20, 30 minutes from me, bro. Yeah, yeah man. And yeah. Shit. Like, what made you want to be this involved, bro? Well, growing up there, man, and not, and you know, just like not having it, you know? Like, right. I mean, it's really, that's what it is at the end of the day. And I see the little homies, you know, they bro, don't. I've, just kind of feeling ignored. Yeah, you know, yeah. and the little homies there, they don't got it, you know? Something. Like. I it's went to Newport Harbor, Harbor High School where you see, like, people no, with money, you know, park, so, right? yeah. yeah, you kind of want to, you know, you see the little homies and, all right, they don't got too much. Over there, it's like, see, that's another thing. It's just, like, everybody oh, wears the right. same clothes. Like, you got, I mean, what I mean by that is, like, you know, it's it's less expensive. This man to said like, in his bar, I went from not having it to donating my sweaters. Yeah. yeah. I'm listening, bro. <laughs> Damn, shout out. I'm listening, that. bro, and I'm telling that. you. That's a good one right Trust, there, bro, I'm listening. Yeah, man, um... Yeah, uh, shit. Like I'm saying, it's because the kids, man, they be buying like fucking five for ten gear, you know, like black, white shirt, yeah. plain shirts. And I get it, bro. But see, you be wearing that because it's again, it's less expensive. You know what I'm saying? You get the hoodies and like twenty dollar hoodies, you know, and then like fucking twenty dollar dickies, you know, and it's like that's a lot for a mom right there to give to her kids. So she's like, man, fuck, it's getting hot over here. <laughs> um, she's like, you know, Sorry, I mean, it's. Bro. No, you're good. You're good. Like, look, I brought one of these. <laughs> you um, Yeah, so, you know, it's it gets like, it's that's kind of why they get like, uh, 
you know, called like little like gangbangers or whatever because you got a 13 year old that's wearing like a fucking plain white tee that's like long because he's tall and also because it's kind of, I get it, you know, you're influenced by that because it's all around you, you know? So you're getting five for 10 shirts and dicky pants instead of like fucking nice or like Levi's or whatever and shit like that because it's not, you can't afford it. So you it's like. Era. You ain't got no RSQs. Yeah, Harry. the RSQs. Oh you know Harry, what I'm saying? You know that era? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Be mad at me. Yeah. yeah. I had the new vest. What? Red. Chest. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. T shirt city, red. <laughs> uh, so that's where I got the re up, red. Relax, mm -hmm. you know? I bought my own shit. That was a spot. <laughs> you trying to flex on yeah, yeah. I'm trying to flex on my own school. Yeah. Bro. Who bought you your shit, your mom? Yeah, that's what I'm saying, uh, bro. Uh, what? Uh, I bought my own shit. Thanks, bro. <laughs> Yeah, but yeah, that's, that's pretty much where it's at. So we make our clothes pretty affordable, man. And, it's, pretty, and it's good quality. It so, is good quality, bro. You know? Yeah. Professionals, well, y'all see the fucking the website up yeah, on the, the page, everything. Bro. Yeah, yeah. Honestly, so we bro. just need the link. I'm trying to see what the how to, how to put it up there. You know, I don't know what the hell I did, but I gotta fix that. <laughs> nah, you're good, yeah, bro. Man, you're but, good. Nah, you honestly, uh, no, no, like uh, what I was saying mm, earlier is that <laughs> um, it was just a straight link to all your all your merch. Mm -hmm. Is what I'm saying. Is what yeah. I saw initially. I yeah. need to see the link for your music. Yeah, but yeah, I got I to. Luckily, you're marketing for your name. It. it yeah, I type it in and it and yeah, it pops up on everything, bro. Yeah, it Google's up, bro. It pops up, bro. That was cool. That so how the name even there. come to be? Yeah, that was kind of funny, man. Uh, well, I was, I, I obviously I like to read some books, you know, here and there. Um, and then around this time, I was reading about like um, I was reading the teachings of Buddha. This was years ago. I was reading the teachings of Buddha. I like to read like, excuse me. I like to go from like um, just different cultures. I was reading about different cultures, different. You know, like religions. I just want to know the truth. You know what I mean? So I was just doing my seeking. And then um, I remember reading about like just like slight, slightly about Taoism and like the Tao and how it works. And it's it's like uh, spelled T-A-O, you know. And I was like, OK, like, what is that? And then it was just like it briefly just it just made it. I mean, it gets deeper, I'm sure. You know, there's like a whole different it gets deeper. But it was pretty quick. It was pretty like simple to explain. It just said, uh, it's like the force behind the universe. You know what I'm saying? The force behind what makes things move. Like what makes your mind think? Like what makes, you know what I'm saying? The blood move and like what made, you know, what makes the winds blow and shit like that? You know, what makes things move? Like things happen. Like the Tao, you know what I'm saying? Like the spirit of, of, of happening, you know? So it's just like, I just thought like, I like that. Like Tao and then and Poeta, like Poeta is just Poeta, you know? And I, I kind of wanted to instill my, my like Mexican, you know, like saying in Spanish, like Poeta. So it's just Tao Poeta. You know, yeah. People, it's funny because the Uber drivers that be like Vietnamese be like, "yao," like "now," and I'm like, "oh," because it's a Vietnamese like name. <laughs> and they be like, "yao," and I'm like, "oh yeah, now." But they're like, "you're not Vietnamese," and I'm like, "no." <laughs> like, I expect you to be Vietnamese. And I'm like, "nope." Nah, like your mom, no? Nah. <laughs> I'm like, "nope." <laughs> yeah, nah, yeah. That was true. I actually came up with that name. I was working with my homie. Like we were like selling fridge. He was selling fridge. We were just helping him out. So, <laughs> so we thought we were helping him out, and. uh yeah, I was just in the back of the truck, just like all squished up, like fucking, just like reading this book, and I'm like, yo, I like this, and just, just mm. it was like, it wasn't the weirdest moment that I decided to that is kind provide of the moment. biggest yeah. thing, you know? I'm just like, it was yeah, like a bro. fucking single cab truck, and I'm like in the back, like all oh, like uncomfortable and shit. It was, it was not the funnest times, bro, but. That's where uh, it came like from, side, bro. Those sideways seats. Yeah. yeah. Oh, bro. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> the sideways okay, ones. Motherfucker well, had a great Dane in there too. It's like, <laughs> bro. It was. It was not. <laughs> it was not it, bro. <laughs> we were. <laughs> we were fucking done at this time. But <laughs> yeah, <laughs> dog. That's that's where it came, and you know we brought it here. It's, it was trippy because a lot of people didn't know how to pronounce it. You know, it's just Dayo. I've got yeah. Dayo so many times. You know, to like it's doubt. <laughs> you know. Nah. Uh, yeah, fucking man, what an episode, bro! Yeah, thank you, man. bro, for everything. <laughs> no, thank of course, you. man. Thank you guys, man. That's nah, man. We're gonna have to bring you on again, bro, to talk about yeah, like, right? the community side, bro. Yeah, oh, yeah. we yeah. talked about the we music, got more shit bro. To talk so. about too. Yeah, yeah, yeah man. Bro. Yeah, I'm, oh, dude, definitely. If anything, when the project drops, you know what I'm saying? Maybe yeah. sometime yeah, yeah, like, yeah. in a month yeah, or so, please, you know, bro. bring some stuff. Bring you guys some stuff too next time. I want to okay. bring you guys some shirts, you know, some tank tops. Cool, man. Yeah, oh, that's how. Yeah, yeah, we like to put up shit. Yeah, whatever we get, we like we like to hang, bro. Oh, hell yeah. We, yeah, we got plenty space, of room bro. to decorate, bro. Yeah, yeah. Right, this is cool. I like this. It looks when, like you're going to be here for a while. Do you actually have a possible drop date for us yet, for the actual tape? The tape? Uh, no, not yet. But uh, Sinaloa and I and, our, and my track is going to drop uh, this coming week. So mm. so that is going to happen. Shout so, out to Zena, bro. Yeah, yeah. He's got so, Zena yep. live last week with Doughboy Tony yep, yep, at the yep. Yost. 
Yep. And oh, then, that's right. That's so right. So he yep. like he came on. Yeah. And then likewise, see you coming on the summertime in the juice. Yeah, yeah. I'm glad yeah. that we're keeping people on that like yes. have stuff that are dropping recently. Yeah, and he's a good artist, man. It, it keeps us high, bro. Yeah. So then, like, we're not just yeah. researching and just not like. You know, because mm-hmm. sometimes like the drop will be so far ahead mm-hmm. that like it's like distant from when I'm going to be communicating with you. Yeah, exactly. But I'm glad you have stuff dropping recently. Yeah, that's why I got to keep so, it going. Yeah, yeah. no, nah, just keep us in tune, bro. Yeah, y'all definitely, Because like man, that's the whole thing yeah. with like fans, bro. You got to yeah. keep us in tune as well, you know? For real, bro. So that's I'm happy all this is happening at the same time. Yeah, man. Thank you. Yeah, no, I appreciate that. Yeah, I'm excited, man. So after that, it comes the Sage drop too. So it's, mm. it's going to be happening. Yeah. Back to back. Yeah. Trust yeah. that one. I'm excited for both of these yeah. tracks. I man. hear you, bro. And he's already building for the next for the fans too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. He's already telling yeah. me so. Damn. You know, that's right. basically since the whole summer then, huh? Yeah, yeah man. That mm-hmm. took. Hey, he did good, man. Shout out to homie Sage. Leading man. into the yeah. yeah, bro. It's all working well, but you just got to keep going, bro. Because if you fucking fall, man, you know you're gonna miss that. Yeah. Uh, that's a good train right Leading now. It's moving. Fall donation, yeah. You know? yeah, bro. It's it's happening, man. I mean, you guys, are, you guys are right in the middle of it, too, bro. You know what I'm saying? You guys keep bringing the right people. I saw you guys had Doughboy Tony. You had Zen and Doughboy Tony. I'm like, yo, that's what's up. And I'm, yeah. I'm honored to be here, too, bro. Like, that's what's up. You know, I like that it's all in the same, same, you know, same circle and shit. It's pretty yeah, dope, Definitely, bro. bro. Definitely. I'm excited. I'm glad you're out here being active and consistent, bro, because yeah, it makes you. it easier for mm-hmm. us as a platform to even fuck with what you got going on, mm-hmm. bro. You know, appreciate that, man. No, thank you. Real guys. shit, bro. Yeah, I'm excited for what's to come. Oh yeah, <laughs> it's about hopefully y'all success and everything you got coming up, bro. Oh, appreciate We're gonna it. tap likewise. in, you know. Yeah, We're like tap I in. Y'all, man. I can't even. I can't wait to see who's next, bro. Yeah, <laughs> I like this podcast. I really do. It's That's because love, I get to bro. like, you know, I get to listen to my homies. You be trying. Yeah, yeah, no, yeah, yeah, yeah. Y'all be, y'all be succeeding. Yeah. No, that's no, no, no. <laughs> As I say that, I like, miss the fucking hype. Oh, my God. <laughs> Cut. Hold on. Hey, yo, Dad, we be... <laughs> I was going to do take two. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, <laughs> y'all got it. Y'all got it, man. Thank, thank you, No, man. that's love, bro. Yes, Real shit, you, bro. Thank you. You genuine as hell, man. You genuine as hell, bro. And maybe I can. We're gonna be there at yeah your events as well. Like, oh, bro, yeah, next please Thursday, Please be sure man. to let hey, us. That was at you know? the beach right there, bro. Yeah, please be so sure to let us. Know. Yeah, man. Okay. I'd love to have y'all there. <laughs> all right. That's gonna be clean, man. I'm excited, bro. All right. Oh, yeah, bro. <laughs> and thank you guys for everything. All yeah, three man. of you guys. For real. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, look out for that. 700blockrecords.com. Make sure yeah. you know, tap into the website. Tap, you know, yeah. t- stay tapped in. New Legend as well. Shout out to Dazzy D and uh, to my kids, you know, and so Lily and Xavier. Y'all gonna, you know, uh, y'all yeah. gonna see this. See you guys all. See y'all. Yeah. That's yeah. fire. That's yeah. fire, bro. Sign off like that. Frank with the Juice podcast. It's Juma. He's out. Go around with the town. Up in my way. Up in my shit. Niggas be making a sound. Niggas don't wish where I'm from. Ground till we making it out. Selling that fish, selling that fish.